there babes today we are doing a monthly haul this is gonna be May haul is this May haul I think this is May haul I am still in the middle of a low buy I have done more than seven months of a low buy now right I think it's seven months of a low buy oh my hair it's so warm and sweet right now I have no idea what's going on it was like October weather two days ago and now it's like June in LA weather. I have no idea what's going on. No idea. I did film this look. It is not up, but it is coming. I did like a chit chatty get ready with me. It's coming. So I am on the low buy. I'm only allowing myself to buy three things every month. This does not include what is going on. This does not include skincare and lashes. And perfume like things that I don't really I'm not that excited about and I don't buy it even if I could because I don't really care that much why do I feel like I have something here probably because I do anyways anyways this so basically like my weakness is eyeshadow palettes and I'm so excited that I am starting to be more this whole year to be honest I've been more critical being like I can I can look at something from afar and still feel like this is a good release this is beautiful i'm happy this exists but i don't need to own it i'm so excited about that so let me chat about what did i buy the first thing that i bought i have an empty box here no idea what's going on with the doggo it's really warm for him as well, so maybe he's really warm. I bought the Nubian 3. And this is the Juvia's Place Nubian 3, and this is what she looks like. I already have a video up on this one. I did two looks with this palette, so I'll, I'll leave all the corresponding videos down below together with some links and also codes, because I do have a code with Juvia's. Did buy this myself though, uh, although they also ended up sending me one, but I bought this myself. I bought this myself and I did two looks, and why am I keeping the box even here I have no idea but yeah this is one of the things that I bought in May I also sweetie are you bored I'm so sorry I'm so sorry sweetie I also I put the I put the cart on here because I am using this one but I bought a new uh, brow pencil I bought the one that I had before this is the MAC shape and shade brow tint in spiked let me see if I can get the one that I'm using Ugh, this is very inconvenient one second. Okay, I got it right here. So this is the one I'm using, throwing the box away. I just put the box in here so I wouldn't forget to tell you that this is this is actually the first thing I bought in May. I was running out of this one and I use this every time I do my brows. Um, this is, uh, basically it's a Sharpie, <laughs> but this is a pencil liner. So this is like, this is a, not a, this is not a felt tip, this is a brush tip. That's what I want to say. Uh, and it also has a brow powder on the other side ah! <laughs> here but I never used that and I didn't use that on the one I had before I bought the other one last year so I've had it for one year and I use it every time I do my brows I just paint in some hairs in the beginning of my brows and I wanted to try another brand but this one is so much more product and this one than the other ones at least the um, the liquidy part like this part it's so much more product than the other ones that I've looked at so it just didn't I couldn't justify buying another one because I like this one and it's really good bang for your buck so personally I like this one I am wearing it in shade spiked and this is a repurchase because I did run out of this one and I had to buy a new one so this is the first item I bought this month and it does feel a bit sucky when you have to like repurchase something with one of your things for your, like your low buy but that was part of my rules so this was the first thing I bought in May and I also did only buy two things in April I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm pretty sure I only bought two things in April. Yeah, because I bought four things in May. Um, so I'm back at I'm back at three. But yeah, so these two are the two things that I bought. And also the last two things that I bought. I'll put some pictures up here. I bought the Blue Moon palette from Colourpop. And I also bought the set from Colourpop with the... Um, what was the watermelon palette called? I don't remember. It was a set with the watermelon palette and two of the lippies from the collection. I bought that one. So this is the thing, I bought three eyeshadow palettes. Oh, I'm so sick of myself, but it's what I love. It's what I love buying, it's what I love using. Just wish I'd buy less, to be honest. I do, I do wish I'd buy less. But I love eyeshadows. What can I say? I need to buy less. 
<laughs> I'm gonna try and not buy any more eyeshadows in, in June to be honest because I don't need any more eyeshadows. I, I didn't need any more eyeshadows in the beginning of this year either. But I do love trying new eyeshadows. I love doing eyeshadow videos. I love trying eyeshadows and using them. And it's the thing that gets me the most excited. But those are the things that I bought in May. I have bought one thing in June. But it's not here yet. It's not here yet. So I can't show you. Let me now show you some things that I got in PR. Should I start with this one? Because... Eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is the Nabla Secret palette. This was one of the things that I was debating buying because I was very excited to try the palette. I like Nabla as a brand. I love that Nabla is a European brand. They're starting to get some recognition worldwide and I'm so excited about that. Um, and they did send me this palette which is so exciting. And I've done Three looks with this palette and some thoughts. I didn't do a full or proper review. I wanted to use it a bit more. I've used it twice since then. So I've used it five times now. And I did film one of those looks. I did a Get Ready With Me where I used the Addiction shade again together with some other things that I'm going to show you in a bit. I, I, I like this palette. This is so much better than the, um, the Poison Garden palette. You know, the one that I didn't really like. I, this one is so better. This is, this is the kind of quality that Nabla was you like known for before they started with their palettes. I think that this is as close to the single formula that I feel like they've been with their palettes. So I, I, I like this palette. I think it's really cute. This is a half neutral, half colorful palette. This is a duochrome. It is a lime green duochrome. This is also a duochrome. It is a gold peach duochrome. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, I, I, I like this palette. I think it's really pretty and I'm so excited that I got it as PR. Thank you so much Nabla for sending this my way. Let's also also talk about, I, I mentioned this briefly, they did send me, Juvius sent me a PR package, I got, I'm just gonna show it like this, uh, if you've seen my vlog, I did a like unboxing on my vlog and there I unboxed the PR package from Juvius, Juvius Place does not send me a lot of PR, this is actually the second PR package that I have received from Juvius Place, you know I love Juvius Place and I own pretty much every palette from them and a bunch of other stuff as well, but I bought them all myself except the first Warrior palette. But they did send me a pure package. I'm so grateful. I tested the foundations out because they also sent me concealers and foundations. And I have a video up on that. And I will also leave that down below in case you want to check it out. But yeah, I was so excited to receive some PR from Juvia's. I, I love Juvia's. I really do. So... I have another one of these and I'll do a giveaway later on as well so I'm keeping this in the package I haven't even opened it so I'm gonna give that one away later as well because right now I'm having a giveaway <laughs> on my channel as well I don't know if it's still open when this video is coming up but I'm giving away one of these as well so right now I have three of those at home <laughs> so this is the thing that I used together with the the secret palette. Some new shades from uh, Divina Cosmetics. Divina sent me her new two collections. This is the Galaxy Dust Shifters and this is the Willy Wonka Exploders. This set, like both of these collections are live. I know that they sold out but I also know that she's restocking. From what I've heard these are not limited edition. I will link them down below. I also have a code with Divina that gives you 20% off. 20% off at the Divina. I'll also put that down below. It is Angeshka 20. I also have a video where I swatched both of these collections. They're so beautiful. Oh, they're, they're really, really, really so beautiful. And like I said, I used, I think, this shade right here for a Get Ready With Me that you... I don't think you've seen it yet, but but it is coming. I don't, I don't think it's live yet. This collection is so beautiful. I've also used it twice outside of... Um, outside of YouTube and I just <sighs> these are so nice I'm so excited about this collection I think that I think that Divina made they did so good with this okay what else am I gonna show you oh I bought this one I can just quickly mention this one I bought a new uh, UV protection this is Clarin UV plus anti-pollution multi-protection this is a day multi-protection uh, sunscreen SPF 50 I bought this out of a recommendation of um, Josep, Josephine, Josephine Schilman. She said that this one is great. It's great on its own. It's great under makeup. It does not break up makeup or make it like it's really good to layer makeup on top of this. She loves this one and she knows like 
skin products she knows skin products and i was all i'm almost out of the day cream i use that has spf in it and i have another day cream that i want to use after that one but that one does not have spf in it so i am gonna put that together with this one so i'm actually super excited about that she said that this is good i haven't broken into it yet but i'm actually really excited to use it i'll link it down below if she says it's her favorite i mean she knows where it's at <laughs> I also got this one. This is from Eden Minerals. I made a video on Eden Minerals not too long ago, like a full face of Eden Minerals. This is a Swedish brand and they are a brand, if you are, have very sensitive skin and like like more mineral ma based makeup and stuff like that, Eden Makeup could be for you. They have makeup that's really good if you have sensitive skin like rosacea or something like that. And they just came out with their first face palette and they sent it to me. It has a highlighter, an illuminating blush and two bronzers. Uh, this one could be used as a highlighter or a blush topper as well. It's really pretty. I've used this a couple of times and I think it's really pretty. I think that this is just as good as the other powder products they have in singles it is the exact same quality and it's actually not that expensive either so that's actually really really nice they also gave me a brush that i already have so i'm going to put that in my in my new <laughs> giveaway pile oh i also got this one i am gonna bring this now that i go on vacation this is from budgie this is his swedish hair care brand and this is some like it's a sun blocker for hair and then it is a a multitasking conditioner and it is a, a apple cider scrub I've heard so many good things about this hair brand it is made by the Swedish makeup company Kix I'm pretty sure that Budgie own Kix it's only sold at Kix but I've heard so many good things about this brand especially this uh, apple cider uh, like scalp scrub it's supposed to be so good I love this like I'm bringing this traveling for sure. Definitely the sunscreen, like hair sunscreen. That's awesome. I'm super excited about that. And then I only have two more packages to talk about. Let's talk about one, the one that I opened. I think I opened both of these in my vlog, to be honest, now that I think of it. Uh, the first one is the uh, packaging from... Is this all of it? No, there's one more here. The first one is the packaging from Gerard Cosmetics. I want to do... The, I've actually gotten quite some requests to do some videos on Gerard Cosmetics. So I got some PR credits from Gerard Cosmetics. So I was able to ooh, order some things from the site. So I ordered five liquid lipsticks and five bullet lipsticks in shades that I do not have. So now I have pretty much all of the range. And I asked you on Instagram which range you wanted me to lip swatch first. If you wanted me to try the bullet lipsticks first and lip swatch them or the liquid lipsticks but you voted for the bullet lipsticks so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna lip swatch the bullet lipsticks I'm gonna try and have it up I don't know if it's coming up in June to be honest because I pre-filmed a lot because I'm going on vacation soon but just know that it's coming and if you're interested in seeing me lip swatch the liquid lipsticks as well I mean let me know and I got a couple of new shades like look at this shade such a nice like quarterly pink for summer this is Merlot look at this Oh, so pretty. Mm. And there's also some that's like one that's super like light that I didn't own. I thought I owned all of the light one, but I did it. Like this one, Kimchi Doll. I like light colors like this, especially to have like in the middle of your lip. This is a super light peachy one. So I'm actually excited. One of these are metallic as well. I, I don't own any of their metallic lippies. So I thought that that was pretty exciting. So yeah, let me know if you want to see me swatch the liquid lipsticks as well. I am going to lip swatch the bullet lipsticks. I'll probably do that next weekend. Now I have all of them. Thank you so much, Gerard, for sending them my way. I also do have a code with Gerard. I'm going to leave it down below. I think it's Angeshka and you get 30% off at Gerard Cosmetics. Okay. Two more things to talk about. Two more things to talk about, I think. One of them is Lethal Cosmetics. They sent me a palette and ooh, I have made a video um, doing a look with these. I think you've seen the look, but I don't know if the tutorial is up. She gave me the opportunity to pick some shades myself and put my palette together. So I chose all of the new shades because she was releasing some new shades. And then I picked some of the older shades that I thought would complement the new ones. And I put them in the palette like this. She has the most amazing tool on her side where you can 
see an empty palette and then just drag and drop single shadows into the palette and create your own custom palette and then you get a bundled price and then you get them all sent together to, for your place and you can put them all together. Oh, so much fun. I love that tool. I wish that all brands that had single shadows would have a tool like that. I do have a swatch picture up on my Instagram with this one. I also have a picture up on my Instagram saying all of the shades. So if you're more interested in this palette, just know that the tutorial could be up. If it's up, I'll leave it linked down below. If it's not up, it's coming. And also, if you want to know more about the shades and see some swatches, that is up on my Instagram. Just so you know. So, ooh, I almost showed you something that's secret. I have something here that's not been released yet. We'll save that for later. We'll save that for later. But the last thing I wanted to talk about is that ColourPop sent me a PR package. I still have a cold with ColourPop. It is five Angelica. Like, let me see. It's five Angelica and it will give you five dollars off on your order. I don't think that this works on everything and I think your order has to be... Yeah, offer valid on orders over $20, exclusions apply. Usually the exclusive, this exclusions <laughs> are the just newly released collections. So like the things that have been released the last couple of weeks are usually excluded. But if you wanted to order some news and you just wanted to add some of the older things as well and they, they come over $20, you can use the code and you get $5 off. And I think that's actually pretty cool. It is a one-time use code and it's not affiliated. I do not make any money out of that code. But yeah. If you want to save five dollars at Colourpop, that's how you can do it. They sent me a little care package with some fun things. They sent me two more of the juicy glosses. Love this. This one, the ter terracotta orange. Oh, it looks so pretty. They also sent me a super shock shadow in yellow. I think they had a yellow theme because they also sent me a yellow uh, jelly jelly matte shadow. This one is in synth synth photo synth sis. And then a thimble, super shock shadow, super shock chic. You see that this is a bit smooshed in this one as well. I just smooshed them back together. But this is a highlighter. This is a, like a pale yellow. It's actually kind of interesting. I need to need to try it out. They sent me another one of their uh, liquid liners. I did chat about this in the blog. I said that it's okay, but not my favorite. So I'm probably actually going to give this one away. And then they gave me the yellow mascara. Oh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. I want to do something with this one so bad. I should have used this today because I have like a yellow brown look. I didn't think of that. So cool. And they also gave me one of these and I haven't tried this one yet. This is one of their Glitterly Obsessed. This is in Dream About Me. Like, do you see how cool this is? And I know you're not supposed to use this on your eyes. Oh my gosh! But honestly, I would never use this without a glitter glue. Uh, I never use glitter without a glitter glue, even though it's in a gel or anything like that. I always use a glitter glue and I never have any fallout. I think that what you need to do is to be careful. If you feel like you are not a pro with glitter, I would only go with eye safe glitter. But I feel like that I have learned enough with time how to work with glitters. I never, ever get glitters in my eyes ever. So I would not recommend to put this on your eyes if you are unsure, but personally I'm not that worried because I do feel like I am a bit of a pro to be honest. And I don't, like, it's more of one of those like, don't try this at home kids. They also sent me a palette. Uh, they sent me the double entendre and I thought this was, was so funny because this is basically the most neutral palette that they have. I haven't swatched this, I haven't used it, I am gonna give it away. Uh, I might give this to a friend, to be honest, because I am uh, actually going to visit some friends this weekend. And I think that one of my friends would actually really like this one because she loves neutral makeup and she works in a very strict business environment. And I think that she would adore this one. I should take a picture of this one before I give it to her because I'm not going to use this. It's not my... I love the formulas, but I'm not I'm not going to use this. Oh, wait, let me let me mention this one as well. Th last one. This is from We Makeup. I'm so excited that We Makeup sends me a uh, PR to be honest. It is the Italian based indie brand that I have done video on on my channel. I've used the liquid lipstick as well. And now they have mini liquid lipsticks. Look at how cute they are. They're ah they're literally so mini. They are literally the smallest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how much it's is in these, but this is so cute. Wait. This is, this is made in Italy, but I don't know how much is in this, but look at how small these are. But I'm just saying that if you have the tiniest, like, party, little 
purse. You could fit something like this in your party purse. I, I actually, I don't think that this is such a bad idea. And also the same, like if you want to try a brand, if you want to try a formula, this is the perfect try a brand, try a color formula. This one, number six, is it number nine? It's number nine. Look at how beautiful this like neutral color is. Let me see if I can. Ooh, that is a great neutral color. So yeah, I actually think that these are so cute. I don't really know the price of them, but I'll link them down below. But I think this is like, it's like snack sized. I love mini makeup, that's so cute. Maybe we should make a video on that, like mini makeup. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, so cute. But yeah, that was everything for this video. These were all of the things... These were all of the things that I bought. And they were most of the things that I received in PR. You know what, there's actually one more thing I received in PR that I'm gonna talk about really quickly before I end this video. And that is that I have received some brushes from Refer. I also have some here, because I, I used them today, so I almost forgot to talk about them. Wait, let me... Let me lift them up because I have some plastic here because I used them today, like I said. So I have used a bunch of refer brushes. Uh, these are not refer. I actually showed them those brushes because I thought they should make brushes like that. Refer brushes is a newly, it's like a startup brand. They are making high quality Japanese made brushes in more like an affordable price than like Hakahodo or, or Chikahodo. Uh, but I think that they are just as good as the Hakahodo ones I have. They are made of from goat hair. I love these. Goat hair is a really good brush to use with like powder products. They pick up eyeshadow and blend eyeshadow like nothing else. And from what I've heard, I could be wrong, like goat hair is obviously not vegan, but from what I heard, you can actually, I mean, you can, you can have a goat as a pet and if you comb it you can get some hairs from it that's what i've heard i've heard that it can be made cruelty free i don't think that every goat hair brush is made cruelty free but i've heard that it can be done that's why i personally have nothing against using animal hair brushes as long as it's something that i think can be make, made in an ethical way because i've said before that i don't use mink lashes but i actually do use animal hair brushes and i have to say that goat hair brushes are pretty much my favorite so i will leave a link to them down below to where you can find them it's easy to get a hold of this. I felt that it was so hard to get a hold of Hakahodo. The only way that I could really get a hold of them is buying them either from Beautylish that has like basically no brushes at all or buy them when I was in Japan. But how often are you in Japan? I mean, I'm not there every day. So I'm actually super excited about these. I think the shapes are great. They have a lot of really small blending brushes, which is something that is so hard to find. Like I've used this one today, for example. It's such a nice brush. I really like this. I recommend this. If you're vegan, obviously not for you. If you're cruelty free, you have to take a stance yourself. But personally, I really like these brushes. I think they're actually really, really good. I will leave a link down below to where you can find them. And that was everything for this video. Whew, I'm so warm. I'm so warm. I'm so warm. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. That's probably going to be either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow because I upload five videos a week. Okay, bye. <laughs>